YouTube World back at it once again, Instant Classic 8. Just trying to diversify my channel a little bit. I'm not just talking about wrestling, but I just want to talk about other things. So uh, I thought this would be the perfect time to do that. Um, this past weekend, I went to the movies and I saw the new, I don't know if it's remake. I don't know if they call it a remake, the reboot. I think it was a reboot. Uh, the reboot of the Ghostbusters franchise. Um, this was a movie that I didn't really have much interest to see going into this. Um, most of my interest came from the fact that my niece, uh, my niece who is, she's 13? She thinks she's 13? Um, she really wanted to see this film. And, you know, I would love to have gone with her. So uh, that was my, my, my biggest take on wanting to see this, is the fact that she wanted to see it. And like I said, I, I was mildly, mildly curious myself. This, going into this movie, th th this got a lot of hate. Um, I think this is like the most disliked, or the trailer. The trailer for this movie was the most disliked movie trailer of all time, I believe. Uh, it's not the most disliked video. I think Justin Bieber still holds that record, but um, the most disliked of all time. And personally, I just I didn't see where all of the negativity and the hate came from. Now, um, me, I'm a product of, you know, born in 1987, so movies, pretty much all the 80s movies, all 90s movies I love. So um, Ghostbusters from 1980, what was it, 83, 84? Uh, the original Ghostbusters movie is an all-time classic. It's one of my favorite movies. Um, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, uh, Harold Ramis, uh, Ernie Hudson, Sigourney Weaver, Rick Moranis. Um, it's just an awesome cast, an incredible movie, so funny. The guys all work together. Um, lots of laughs. It's just it's a classic movie, and even Ghostbusters two. I don't think it's as good as the first one, but I still enjoyed it. Um, it also spawned one of my favorite soundtrack songs of all time which was bobby brown uh on our own but either way love the series ghostbusters 1 ghostbusters 2 great movies they were supposed to do a third film it fell apart uh especially fell apart when um when harold ramus passed a couple of years ago which is unfortunate um but either way you know we're doing a reboot um a lot of negativity came from that this was a all women's cast um i didn't really see why people were hating on that, but, you know, that's what happened. Everyone hated on this. No one wants to see it. Um, the box office, I don't think it's performing very well, um, and I think that was because the negativity that this movie was receiving going into this. Um, I saw the movie this past Sunday, and I gotta say, I enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't a great movie, it was a lot of mindless fun, but then again, it's Ghostbusters, so it needs to be mindless fun. Um, I thought there were plenty of laughs in here. The story was easy to keep up with. Um, a lot of flashbacks, a lot of odes to the original series. Um, your, four, your four women your head were uh, Melissa McCarthy, uh, Kristen Wiig, uh, Kate McKinnon, and Leslie Jones. Uh, with Wig, McKinnon, and Jones, them uh, being... Uh, SNL veterans, uh, I believe Jones and McKinnon are actually still on SNL. I don't watch it as much as I used to, but um, all three of those uh, girls from SNL, uh, Melissa McCarthy, she's been on SNL, she's hosted SNL before, but either way, I'm surprised Lauren Michaels didn't get any type of EP credit for this, um, but I thought all the girls worked well together. Um, Melissa McCarthy, you know you see her in those silly, silly comedic roles, whether it be Tammy or, uh, God, what's the one she did? Damn it. Um, I know she did, like, Spy. I didn't see that movie, but... And Tammy, um, she did Identity Theft. Just these movies that I didn't think were, were really good. I did enjoy her in The Heat with uh, Sandra Bullock. I thought that was a good movie. But either way, I still think she's, you know, the greatest actress in the world. Kristen Wiig, I've enjoyed her in the, you know, the role she put her in. Like I said, the other two women and SNL, you know, I don't really have an issue. But I thought all these girls worked well together, um... You know, they had their own comedic timing, and, and, and I got plenty of laughs from it. Um, Chris Hemsworth was in this movie, just playing just the overly stupid, overly stupid receptionist. Um, but I thought it worked. I enjoyed it. He was 
he was very, very goofy, and, you know, I got a kick out of it. Um, but either way, like I said, the movie was, I, I thought it was good. Um, I definitely, you know, I don't know if I'd pay to go see it, but I definitely would want to see this again. Um, we even got cameos from a lot of the original cast. Murray, Aykroyd, uh, Hudson, uh, Weaver was in it. Um, I hope I'm not spoiling anything, by the way, but uh, <laughs> we got cameos from all those guys. Um, I did enjoy that none of them were their original character. They were all playing something different, which is very cool to see. Uh, but either way, like I said, Ghost Special 2016, I thought this was a thought this was an all right movie. I didn't mind watching it. I wouldn't mind seeing it again. Let me know what you think if you saw it. Until then, I'm Mr. Classic 8. Peace.